Hello everyone and welcome back to Kilohertz. In the fourth video of Back to Basics, I will be discussing the photoresistor or an LDR uh, and I will be using it as well to control this blue LED in here. Uh, what I will be doing is I will be turning on and off the LED based on the lighting in the room. Example, if I sh cover this uh, the resistor, the LED will turn on. If I uncover it, it will turn off. Now the resistance of the LDR varies based on how lit or dim the, the, the light in the room is. Um, the resistance will increase as the room gets darker and it will increase if we have more light in the room. Now, and with this information, we can send that information to the Arduino and write a sketch in such a way that we can decide at what point we can turn on the LED and when we can turn it off. I will be getting deeper into this uh, within the sketch itself. Uh, but for the time being, I will put up a Fritzig diagram in order to uh, talk about the circuit right now. And uh, as you can see in here, now the photoresistor, okay, let's turn it towards the light. Uh, the photoresistor in here has two leads and those two leads are connected to two electrodes on top. And in between you have a photoconductive material known as a cadmium sulfide, which loses or gains electron based on the on the light in the room itself and thus increase or decrease the resistance of uh, the LDR. Uh, and as for the and as for the um, circuit itself, I'm connecting one of the two leads and yeah, one thing else to note is that the two leads are not polarized, so there's no positive or negative side of it, so you get to choose which one to, uh, to connect where. So I selected this one in here to connect it to a 10 kilo ohm resistor and that the other part of the other end of the resistor is connected to the five volts on the Arduino, which is that red uh, connector in here. Uh, the, that lead itself as well is connected to pin A0 or analog zero on the Arduino. And the other lead is going to ground. As for the LED, there's just a regular connector, uh, sorry, the regular connection that we have normally. One lead is connected to pin 13 and the other lead is going to ground. All right, so let's get into the sketch right now so th to discuss how uh, we control the LDR or how can we tell the Arduino to turn on or off the LED based on the light within the room itself. Before starting the sketch, I just want to bring your attention to a couple of commands that I'm going to be using for the first time here in the sketch. The serial.begin and the serial.println these are uh, related to the serial monitor we will be using i will show you later on how does it look like also i will be using the for the first time the if statement or in this case actually it's the if else statement and these are very crucial and very important when it comes to programming because you can set a certain condition and if that condition is met you execute a command however if that condition is not met using the else command uh, then you execute a completely different command. As well as also, I will be introducing for the first time the analog read function, which is very similar to the digital read function. However, this one reads information from an analog pin. That's where the LDR is plugged into. So, uh, all right. For the so the first thing we're going to be talking about here is, or are actually the two variables or actually constants that we're going to be defining like usual which is the led we're setting it up at pin 13 also the ldr or the photoresistor we're setting it up on pin number zero which is analog pin number zero on the arduino also for the first time um this is going to be a real variable in the sense that we're gonna initiate it to zero but later on in the sketch itself, we're going to read the information from the LDR and substitute that zero with the data that we're going to be collecting from the LDR itself. You're going to see it on the serial monitor later on as well. So this variable, which is I called uh, LDR read, and uh, also it is case sensitive, uh, it will be the variable that we will be plugging in and using it as information dump so we can bring it up on the serial monitor later on now in the void loop we're going to start the serial monitor when we start the serial monitor by typing serial dot begin and then we set the baud rate at 9600 now the baud rate is the rate at which the arduino and the computer communicate each other using the serial port or the usb port itself 
there are other values that you can put in here and we're probably going to get into them on a separate video but for this time let's use 9600 which is the by by default or a safe way to put it because it works for on every port side 100 percent the next we're going to be talking about is the pin mode uh, we're going to set the pin mode of the led to output we've seen that before that's because the led is going to turn on so it's going to output a light for us however this time you on the analog pin zero where the LDR is plugged in it's going to be set into input because that's the LDR is going to input information on how bright or how dim the room is or the lighting in the room actually and then we're going to take that information from that whatever it's going to be inputting and we're going to put it on the serial monitor all right so in the void loop itself uh, for the first time we're going to see as well is we're going to take the data that we're going to collect from the LDR, which is pin number zero, using analog read function. And we're going to take that information and put it into the variable we declared on top called LDR read. So uh, in other words, we're saying that LDR read right now is no longer equal to zero. It's equal to whatever the data we're getting at this instant right now from the LDR. So we keep that in mind, we take that information and, and store it in LDR read. Then we're going to use the command serial.println to take that information and display it on the screen. So we're going to take whatever value we picked up from the LDR and we put into LDR read variable and we're going to show it on the screen itself. Uh, you can use serial.print the only difference between serial.print and serial.println is that the serial.print if you on by itself it's going to take the information and put put them all on one line one after the other if you want to get more make more sense of the data you want to put them uh, on one each on a separate line by using the println the println is if you hit enter after every command that's what it does all right now that we've printed that data or on the small serial monitor we're gonna go into the if statement to set a certain condition and if that condition is met we're gonna action according it accordingly so we're gonna start the if statement by writing if and then we put our condition right away in between regular parentheses in here now if the data we picked up from the LDR or the information with an LDR read is greater or equal to 200 all right then within the curly brackets in here if it is more than 200 we want the LED to turn on however that's when we use the else statement if that information is not correct which is less than 200 so go ahead and turn off the LED and then we're going to rinse and repeat every half a second and then again it's going to go back to the loop the data is going to collect data and put it into the LDR read it's going to put it in the serial monitor and take that information and compare it whether it's more or less than 200. Now that's basically what the sketch is so after we verify it it's done and then we upload it using this button first thing I want to do is I want to start the serial monitor and uh, to start the serial monitor I click on this little square on the top right corner and here it says serial monitor so if I click on it you see that the data let's move it in here so I can maybe put a video on this side in here the info the data is less than 200 as long as the data is less than 200 so this means that the LED is not gonna turn on and you can put whatever number you want in here based on how bright or how dim your uh, room is after experimenting by uh, with, with the data that I have based on the light that I have in here as well I found the 200 was more or less a good number to do a little test with see what happened when I put my hand let's say about a couple of inches above the uh, LDR there you go I see that the LED turned on and the information is I'm getting is above 200 well 
barely above 200. But what happened when I start lowering my hand? There you go. It's 700, definitely the light is on. Uh, I created as well a little hat, or if you want a cover that I can cover the LDR with. And if I use it, of course, because I uh, colored it also in black, you can see that it's darker uh, in the room. Well, actually, darker the, the around uh, the the LDR because it's covered with a black uh, hat, if you want, or a cover, if you want. And there it is. If I remove it. The light is off. And what happens if I shine a flashlight directly on the LDR? Let's see. There you go. It is so low right now. And I move it away. And I cover it again with my hand. You know, you get the gist of it right now. All right, so this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I I liked it a lot because this is one of the videos or one of the little experiments that you can use for the first time to produce something. Uh, in this case, you can create a night light where if you turn the lights off, your uh, a light will come on. I will be creating, not next video right away, another video using an actual light bulb using LDR and uh, relays uh, that you can actually light up in the room 